Hi guys, John Cheatham here with Tempo Endurance Coaching. Hope you like the videos. We'll be doing more of them on different subjects that interest us, different athletic profiles. Um, you can find us on all the major social media at Tempo Endurance Coaching, as well as our website, tempoendurancecoaching.com. Have a great day. Hi there, guys. Just a quick video here on some of the exercises we go over in the aero clinics and getting your neck position down. So one of the biggest things to do, think about one of the things we like to focus on first is head position. So this is some very, very basic stuff. Um, nothing that really anything different than we do. Really, you should do this all the time. We all suffer from things like text neck and keyboards and we are always hunching and rolling our scapula forward and tensing our neck. So this is just good stuff from a, from a health perspective to do. So um, what we'd like to do is start with very, very simple, gentle movements. Flexing the head down, stretching it back. Maybe take a breath in between each one of these. Good time to kind of just unwind the body. It sounds a little woo-woo, but a few minutes of down-regulating yourself here is really good. We then look so softly to our left, we look softly to our right. And we go through this a few times. Very good time to just again, just kind of down regulate, use this opportunity. We get stressed out all day. We store stress typically in our back and in our stomach and in our neck. So this is a really good time just to do that anyway. So again, we're gonna do Forward, back, giving time, between breaths, left, right, just loosening up all the upper vertebrae here, any little adhesions. We're going to start turning the neck from side to side. These aren't violent movements whatsoever. You don't want to feel like this, um, this should hurt at all. This should just be a gentle stretching just a gentle stretching, just getting mobility back in the neck. You can see right there, my left shoulder picked up right there. I've been tight. I've been working on a computer all morning. Um, so we want to go through this, I would say probably five times on each side to start and then maybe get up to about 10. What I'd really like you to think about is just slowly doing this, kind of slowly exploring the edges of the mobility and not so much violently yanking your head from side to side. And those are the main things to think about when we're thinking about the head. And we're going to start thinking about moving, getting more mobility as we start to adjust your position more into the scapula and changing that and working on getting a shrug, getting an aerodynamic shrug. We need to be able to mobilize these shoulders and be able to get that going. So what I'd like you to think about, this is very basic stuff, very basic yoga moves, standard yoga tabletop position like this. We're going to roll our head up and push the thoracic vertebrae down between the scapula while we look up. If you remember in your workshops, we talked a lot about imagining something pulling your chin down while you're riding your bike. So it's very similar to that. You want to think about that movement there. And we want to sway the entire back right now. Then, then we want to shift that to the cat. Which basically is just, just the other side of that whole range of motion. And we want to move back and forth through these. These are the cat and the cow. I would say let's do five of these each time through. Again, put a breath in between each one of these and kind of pace it out. This shouldn't be a radical thing. This should be something you could do. Um, at the end of work, um, at the beginning of doing your position work on the bike, if you're going to do that with the rollers, this would be a fantastic way to do it um, before you go to bed, really. This is not very difficult work to do, so it's kind of a nice thing to do. Add a breath in there. I'd really encourage that. Um, you can get a lot out of that by doing that. Um, now we're going to do a very standard yoga child pose, which is simply this. The more you get your arms out, 
the better off you are. So kind of explore with this. So take it easy, kind of explore, stretch this out, really, really reach these arms, reach the hands as far as you can. If you're ready for more progression than that, after a few times through of doing that, a few days of doing that, you can also move to taking your arms, clasping them behind you, and walking your elbows out like this, and then deep breaths. Deep breaths, super important to get deep in there. It's very easy when we start moving into these positions, our muscles actually tighten back up and we get kind of go on guard. So by taking those deep breaths, we relax all that again. It's very important to start thinking about this. This stuff all ties in to as you're doing a very hard effort, whether it's in a time trial or in a position, actually learning to relax your upper body and to relax your body as much as possible, even in the middle of pain. So it all kind of starts tying together. So learning to relax yourself here is very important. A couple more things I'd like to talk about. One, from the tabletop position, we drop this left arm down, just as an example, and we reach the right arm through. So you should feel a lot of stretch in here, in the mobility in the left shoulder. And then you notice you're twisting over. So you're getting multiple opportunities to mobilize your scapula right there. So do that on both sides. I would say 30 seconds on either side. It's about right to start with on that, on the thread, the needle. And then the last one I'd like to do, I'm going to stay down here, but you can also do this standing. Sorry, I have some TRX stuff behind me right there. Is clasp your hands behind you. Either way is fine. It doesn't really matter to me. Bend over, hinge at the waist, and pull your arms up like somebody was pulling your fist, your clasped hands upward with a string. And do that and feel the stretch now in the front of your shoulders. Okay, so that's basically the exercises we'd like you to start with. Um, please don't feel, please feel free to get in touch with me via email john at cyclecoaching.net. Um, if you have any questions about that, I'd be happy to answer them. And um, again, pardon the uh, chill uh, backyard training spot, but really you can do this stuff anywhere. Um, I do this kind of work all the time in hotel rooms, um, just about anywhere. Sometimes just in the middle of the day, I just stop what I'm doing, take a few minutes, mobilize my neck, mobilize my shoulders, take some deep breaths. It's really worth it. it sounds a little woo-woo, but there's big gains to be had here. All right, have a great day. and. Uh